Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the first updates for the Pandas Eyeshadows projects that I started again this year. Of course, we all know by now this was started by Alexi a few years ago now. I believe she's actually doing it as well again this year. So definitely make sure to go check her out. Um, like if you search for the hashtag, there are so many people doing this right now. So if you like this project, there will be plenty for you to watch. Let's take a look at how high I've done <laughs> over the last month. The first palette that I was working on, or like a shade in this palette, was the Urban Decay Vice palette. And in here I was working on Discreet, which is this shade right here. Of course from here you cannot really see, but in a close-up you can clearly see a good bit of brush marks from kind of my blending brush. I use this mostly as a transition color in my uh, crease. <laughs> I wanted to say outer feet, that's not really where I use transition shades. And since the last update, I've used this 16 times, which is a good bit. I just feel like, it's funny, this shade is pretty powdery, but at the same time, I do not feel like there is a huge dip in here yet. So I think it's going to be a little bit more work for sure yet on this one. But 16 times is not bad. And I'm going to try and be better about my swatches this year. So I'm going to swatch this on my hand so you can see what that looks like as you can see like it's it's a cool tone mauvey color but it doesn't even show up that much on my hand which clearly shows you that it is a good transition shade just to kind of like make sure everything blends better to kind of fade things in my crease a little bit more it's what i have in my transition shade right now as well but i don't know how well you can actually spot that in there anyway moving on to the next one another urban decay palette the naked palette um, in here i've been working on half baked <laughs> right here um, i haven't used this too much yet i've kind of been gravitating towards some other shades first um, but i have used this three times which is something at least um, it, it is a really really nice shade i do love that i think half baked is probably like one off if not my favorite shade from that naked palette it just looks so lovely um, I've been using this as a lid shade, like most of the time, with the uh, greenish shade that I also have in my like outer corner and crease at the moment. And yeah, that looks great and it's so nice and shiny. I really like that one. I definitely want to use that more over the next month. Then we have the sleek palettes. I have two sleek palettes with some shades in it as well. First of them being the original... Like why not start with the original right and in here i was working on two shades those two right here um very excitingly i did hit pan on like the whitest shade which like really gives a gold sheen when i put it on my lid i have it in my inner corner at the moment um and this one i used 18 times before i hit pan on it so that was not too bad and then i've used it two times more kind of just in my inner corner to like make that pan a little bit more visible still so that is how i've been using it and now i'm gonna try and make sure i swatch that like where am i gonna do that on my arm this is what that looks like i don't know how well you guys can see that um but it just really really has a really nice like golden sheen to it um, what I did notice though is that it's relatively powdery and it, like the the glitter or shimmer didn't stick to my eye too well if I would try to use it with a brush. So in my inner corner it was fine. I think also because I put down like a white base with my eyeliner that it can stick to quite well. But on my lid I really had to kind of go over it with my finger to like intensify it a little bit because it was a little bit too meh if I would not yeah, do use my finger to apply it. And then once I like really made some nice progress on this one, I kind of moved to using this one a little bit more as my lid shade, um, which is like a pinky shade, but also it has that like golden sheen, um, just with a bit more of a pink base, I guess. So on the eyelids, they're actually pretty similar, um, but you can see a difference. I think like this one definitely has more of that pink base, whereas this one really is is like mainly that golden sheen i don't know how well that actually shows up for you guys but anyway this is what i have on my lid right now so i have like the whitey shade in my inner corner um and then the pinky shade on my lid and 
this one i have used only four times so not a whole lot yet but if i look at how quickly i went through or like it took me to hit pan on like the the whitish gold shade um i think maybe i could hit pan on that one by next time that would be nice um, and then lastly, I was working in like this jewels palette from Sleek. I was working on this kind of like army green shade right here. Also, that one has a little bit of a golden base. So, or golden sheen, I should say. As you can maybe spot from there. And that is what is on my, like I said, outer corner and a little bit into my crease as well to darken things up really like this one it's it's very different consistency wise than the other two this one is a lot more hardly pressed and not as like powdery and just disappearing from my eyes kind of i do not need my finger for this one where i do need my finger for applying those uh, those other two so that is definitely interesting um but yeah i think like it's probably because this one is a little bit less like glitter shimmer in it like you can see that the one on top of it like really reflects a lot of shine i'm <laughs> trying to find the right words whereas this one is like a little bit less it's i wouldn't call it a satin but it definitely leans more satin the other one is definitely a uh, well, almost metallic shade so yeah those were the five shades that i was working on uh so far for the first month and as you can see i've hit pan on one shade so i get to roll something new in um, in addition to that i also hit pan on buck in the naked palette um, right here that was in my uh, roulette pan collab i was trying to hit pan on it so i've got a teeny tiny bit of pan showing up in this shade as well now which is really exciting so i've added two pans basically to my amount of shadows i have hit pan in which brings me to a total of 14.5 percent at the moment so that's going up a little bit but anyway time to roll in a new shade i've uh, got my pretty random app up here got the numbers 1 to 127 because that is how many eyeshadows i have that do not have pan in it yet so let's see what we're gonna end up with so that's number 53 and 53 is so 35 actually is another shade from the sleek the original palette again which i guess it doesn't want me to get away from it so if this is a black i'm not gonna do it but apart from that i think everyone everything else is uh fair game so let's see what that number one is because i don't yeah <laughs> it is a black right here so that we're not gonna do that i'm already working on a black um maybe later in the year once i'm a little bit further through that black but like i said i'm not gonna do a black so we're gonna roll again so we had 35 that's not gonna be it instead we're gonna have 93 and 93 is da -da 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 -da, a shade from my coastal sense creative me number two palette so i'm quickly gonna get that and uh, let's see what shade that is gonna be okay i have my palette right here and like i said it's gonna be shade number eight i don't know what it is yet so let's take a look together one two three four five six eight <laughs> i forgot seven anyway i'm uh, starting right here sorry one two three four five six seven eight so we're ending up with the yellow shade right here, which I don't mind. I actually like yellow uh, shades. So just gonna swatch this for you guys, put it next to what we're already working with. And that is the yellow shade. Also, like on my skin tone, it doesn't really jump out too much. It's not overly pigmented, but I think it will actually work nice with that. Um, green as well like it, it still fits into my kind of like golden yellow green color story we're actually we're not doing too bad this year when it comes to the color story so yeah this is going to be what i'm going to be working with like do let me know if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for how i can use this um my goals at the moment i i'm realizing that this one is not moving too quickly so even if i'm using this in my like outer corner or somewhere else in my lid most of the time i'm not sure whether i'm going to be hitting pan in this within the next month um definitely want to see if i can hit pan on the pinkish golden shade because the 
The other one right next to it took me about 18 uses. So if I really narrow in on that one, I think I might be able to hit pan on that one. Definitely want to make sure I use half bakes a bit more and this one is going to go in my crease a fair bit. So let's see if that's going to bring us to pan or not. Um, the yellow is probably going to be like a lit shade or something that I'm going to be playing around with a little bit more. And yeah, that is what we're working with right now. So that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!